this is how you know it's going to be an interesting unboxing when they put the labeling on the inside because inside our true character truly shines so first of all Samsung sends us this thank you and a very, very beautiful picture of a flower on, on black paper. And this probably costed a lot of ink, but it's supposed to tease the idea that you, you're opening a, a flower. That's what opening the Z Flip is like. So on the inside, of course, we have the Z, which in regards to Samsung packaging, this is actually kind of different. You know, I'm used to it always kind of being the same. I'm going to use my knife to lift this out with my other hand. Put that box to the side there. We have our little plastic tab. And you'd think after unboxing so many phones, I would have this down to a science, but I really don't. I'm still winging it. Okay, this is a first for unboxings, by the way. I've never owned or used a foldable in the past. You've been asking me to for a long, long time. And today we're, we're finally going to do it. So what do they want from me? Oh, okay. Slide it out this way. Flip. Oh, there you go. See, this has a little hole on the inside. So Z flip. Now I think this is ready to slide it. Oh, it unboxed like an iPhone this time. Okay. Here we go. Oh, the future changes shape. Meep, meep. Meep your bleep, bleep flip. The revolutionary Galaxy Z Flip takes the mobile industry to the next level. Oh God, I'm excited that I'm one of the select chosen to test this thing. Okay, we're gonna lift it off there. Ooh, okay, care instructions from the very beginning. That's right, because before you actually see the flip, you wanna make sure you know that you cannot attach adhesives. Do not press the screen with your fingernail. And when folding the device, do not place any objects such as cards, coins, or keys on the screen. Okay. So I believe we pull up from this point. It's not folding right. Wow, that's a tall phone. That thing's pretty tall. Jeez. Okay. Well, feels pretty quality in the hand at first. Let me try to peel this film up. Is this the film I'm allowed to take off? I'm not sure there's certain film you're not supposed to take off. I guess we'll take our chances. This has very accessible tabs here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull. Okay. There's lots of plastic on this one. Wow. Pull off the sides there. Fingerprint magnet this thing up. Whoa, did I just pull the screen off? What's all this? Oh, that was the screen. We lost the screen, ladies and gentlemen. I did, that was, oh no, that was the careful instructions. You know, they didn't have a PNG file, so they had to put the whole black JPEG there as well. And then right underneath that, you have your Galaxy Z Premier service. So they showcase you all of the uh, customer service uh, ways to contact them because <laughs> you know there's going to be a lot. Um, I can already see a crease. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can definitely tell it's there. Um, just from the get-go and this is what it looks like on day one out of the box I've yet to actually fold this thing at all So, um, that means this is only gonna get worse with time, but it's surprisingly light Don't mean to diss this thing like it's it's pretty light for the size I know this is gonna be a huge display and we're gonna want to be very very extra careful with it And hey that black mirror finish though Come on, like, I wish Apple would bring that back with the jet black iPhone. That looks amazing. Yes, it's going to get a lot of fingerprints on it, but I think it looks great. Okay, so power button here, which is also a fingerprint reader. Volume rockers here, and I'm debating whether or not I should power it up first or do the flip part first, because I've never done this before. I'm nervous. All right, here we go. <sighs> they want you to do this. They want you to do this. Whoa! <laughs> That is weird. That is a weird sensation. You're just not used to a phone doing that. That's not something you're, you're used to doing. Okay, and we open it up, make sure it still works. Okay, it's still working. I didn't shatter on the first try. Some others can't say the same, but okay, we're gonna try powering it up now. I'm holding power. Screen booting up. Oh. It's got its tapped feedback. Booting up pretty quick, which is good. I believe we have a mild amount of accessories that also came with this thing. Yeah, we got, of course, the charger. We got the AKG headphones. And before we sign into the Wi-Fi network... <laughs> it's so weird. I'm not used to that. See the little screen on the outside there? Oh, can it come back? There it goes, you tap on it. Out of the box at 42% charge. That's a very bizarre sensation, but it's very stiff, to be honest. Prying this thing open is quite, uh, I mean, it, it's pretty stuck together. So this was my main concern with getting a foldable phone. I was concerned that taking it out of the pocket and unfolding it every single time was going to get old pretty quick. It still might, you know, I haven't had this thing for more than five minutes, so hold off on any judgment, but okay. And after you've gone through the whole sign-in process, they want you to once again know about all the things they already told you. They're like, please do not press hard on the screen, okay? So they really, really want to emphasis the, the lack of durability here, which I guess is important. People should know that going into it, but I think I'm just gonna hit done there. And boom, we're on the home screen. Oh, look, why can't 
more smartphone manufacturers send you an actual photograph of the wallpaper with the phone you buy. I think this is a top requested feature most of us wanted and we're not getting it, so thank you, Samsung. So there you have it. There we are on the home screen. We can, of course, swipe back and forth. Thank you, my Sprint, for being there. The unlocked versions were sold out in the first minute somehow. We can swipe up to access all the rest of the apps. What do we have out the door? A folder full of Microsoft uh, apps. We have a folder full of Google apps. That makes sense, it's Android. But of course, I need to just grasp this for a second. This is bizarre, okay? I set up my fingerprint and everything, and I'm just not used to doing that with a phone. That's weird. Okay, so to unlock it, you're doing fingerprint on the side and it's registering my thumb, which is good. A lot of phones have difficulty with that at first, but this is my main concern with the Z Flip, which I'm excited that I have it now because I get to test it and see if it's really that bad. So the idea is you fold it up because it's cool and reasons, but aside from that, oh, it's already buzzing at me. But aside from that, I feel like it's a middle step to have to take it out of my pocket and then open it. Ooh. <laughs> I feel bad about that because in the process of trying to open it with a single hand, I have to push my thumb kind of hard against the display. Okay, all right, now, you know what? I'm not gonna care about durability for a second, which is not something you should say when using a foldable, but I'm just gonna see how long it takes me to take it out of my pocket and unlock it with one hand because I do that a lot with my iPhone, okay? Reaching out of the pocket, unfold it like this, then power button, and then unlock. It feels a little clunky to me, okay? Maybe we could unlock it with Face ID, but this has a very, very uh, okay form of face unlock. You know, it's just the basic camera, but Samsung uh, definitely wanted us to try it with the camera so you can use it like, you know, a little, a little makeup test kit there. So sort of like a laptop, I can set this thing up like this, and now I could call people. Cool! And now when I want to hang up the call, the future's an amazing thing, isn't it? But okay, um, first impressions are using the device, the crease, it, it's noticeable, you know? I'm noticing it from more angles than I thought I would, basically because it's any type of reflection, uh, this thing, it immediately shows up. But a lot of people were saying they noticed the crease like rippled a little bit when scrolling and stuff, and I'm not really noticing it. Okay, I just tried it and now I'm noticing it more. I, I see what people are talking about, you know? You scroll through the middle part of your display quite a bit, and when there's that crease there, you feel a little groove. And I'm a little bit concerned that when I first tested this thing, I didn't feel the groove. And now, after folding it a couple times, I'm starting to feel it more substantially. I'm wondering if that gets worse with time. I hope not, but yeah, it's, it's interesting to see how long the display stays on. You know, even when it's like folded up like that, it, it still works all the way. It's still working. There. It's still working. It's even working right now. Like the screen is on at this point. Do you, does Samsung think I'm using it in this position? I think they could kill the pixels at that point. But yeah, I mean, how, how quickly can you? Mm, it's, it's very grippy. I mean, I can tell they wanted the, the flip to work in this folded up position because it can really hold it fairly well. I mean, you can still ah, unflip it all the way if you want to, but I'm very excited to use this more myself. I will try to put my SIM card in it, so I guess I'm going back to Android again, but I got a lot more setting up to do with this thing, a lot more camera tests to perform as well, but and that is bizarre having the display that long. It, it's quite like an ice cream bar in that way, much thinner than the iPhone, but anyway, if there's some of you Z Flip owners out there, let me know what your first impressions are. I'm sure they're very good, but like many people with concerns for foldables, I think it's the longevity we're mostly concerned about. But hey, that, that flip motion, you can't deny it's pretty satisfying. It's just not worth $1,400. <laughs> worth the subjective, of course. Anyway, we'll come back to that later. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have an excellent day. Take care.